What's up geeks and gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're going to talk about The Last Jedi and Solo, a Star Wars story. Now, uh, it's a very, very divisive time we are in right now. It's very, very frustrating. Um, I'm, I've am i literally lost real friends over, over my opinion of The Last Jedi, which I think is just absolutely insane. I don't understand it. It doesn't really register with me. I mean, I'm a sports fan, and sports can get very passionate and very heated at times. I've been in the middle of very heated discussions and arguments with friends, family. I've never, and I've heard of people losing friends over sports. Don't get me wrong, I've heard of this, so I'm not oblivious to things like that. But I've never experienced what is going on with The Last Jedi. I've never experienced losing friends and being just demonized because I don't like a movie. And maybe it's because of my rise in YouTube. Maybe it's because I make so many Last Jedi videos. Maybe it's because I put The Last Jedi in titles of videos where it doesn't necessarily belong. Um, I guess that could maybe make somebody upset with me, but to the point where you just don't want to be friends with someone. And I'm not even just isolating this to me. I'm not the only person that's going through this. So many people are just so mad because people do or don't like this movie. And I just don't really understand that. Like, I really don't. Um, for me, I can only speak for me. I don't care if you like The Last Jedi. It doesn't bother me at all. I've said, I've said plenty of times, I'm kind of beyond the movie at this point. Uh, the movie is what it is. I didn't like it. Um, I probably don't hate it as much as a lot of people think I do, but I definitely don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's my least favorite Star Wars movie. Um, there are some things in it that I do enjoy, and clearly I've said many times that, you know, when I first saw it that I was fanboying, and then I finally, after dissecting and thinking about it, is where I started realizing I, the problems, and the, the more I started thinking about it, the more I stopped liking it, but this divisive nature we live in right now and it's really uh i don't know it's disheartening and it's kind of upsetting to to the point where people are just so mad because people don't like a movie and i wish we could all just be a little more mature and a little more grown up and yeah, I mean, yeah, I do make a lot of Last Jedi videos. I'm going to continue to make them as long as my audience wants to watch them. Who, who, why would I stop making things that my audience wants to watch? Can anybody explain that to me? I'm not going to. Also, YouTube's algorithm. I'm facing that. So yeah, uh, I'll do as many Last Jedi videos as I want, and I'll put it in the title, and there's nothing anybody can do to stop me. My question is, why does that make you mad? Why are you upset that I am choosing to speak about things on the on my YouTube channel that my audience wants to hear. Why does that upset anybody? I don't understand it. It makes no sense to me. Um, but for the record, and I've, I don't know how many times I have to say this, it's okay if you like The Last Jedi. I totally get it. I'm totally fine with that. There's nothing wrong with liking the movie. Now, the problem with it is when you don't recognize that other people in massive numbers legitimately don't like it for legitimate reasons not because they're sexist not because they're racist not because they're anti-woman because in our opinion there's a lot of problems with this movie now the movie is what it is it came it went i didn't like it i can move on past that i can live with a bad movie what my problem is is how lucasfilm has handled the situation. That is what fuels me every single day on this YouTube channel. It's not The Last Jedi. It's the response to The Last Jedi from the company that produced it. They cannot take the criticisms. They cannot accept it. They won't accept any criticisms for this movie whatsoever. None. Like, there's nothing they're going to acknowledge. We are, what, five, four, five months past The Last Jedi? There's nothing they're willing to acknowledge. Nothing. We remember Zack Snyder. We remember Batman v Superman, Man of Steel, how divisive they were. At no point, and I was one of them, I did not like Man of Steel. I did not like Batman v Superman. But you know what? 
for what it's worth, Zack Snyder handled it like a man. Handled it like a champ. At no point did he lash out at the fans, and Zack Snyder took a lot of crap. I mean, a lot of crap. But at no point did Zack Snyder speak up and speak out and was disrespectful to people that were just destroying him online. We never saw it. We never saw the creative team uh, with DC and Warner Brothers speaking out online, being all petty to, against the fans. We never saw it. How is this happening at Lucasfilm? It just happened again yesterday with Pablo Hidalgo going after Ethan over his shirt. Ethan Van Skyver over his shirt. Can anybody explain to me like how this is acceptable? How are you how are you as a fan looking at what Lucasfilm is doing and thinking it's acceptable? I don't understand. My whole point for this video was to just say I'm okay if you like the movie. I'm okay if you're going to see Solo, a Star Wars story. I don't mind. I don't know how many times I have to say it. It seems like people just form their opinions based on what they want to hear and not what you're actually saying. I've said a hundred times, I am not calling for a boycott of Solo. I am saying I, as an individual human being, am not spending my money on Solo. That's it. You want to go see it? You have my support. I'm not seeing it. But it just seems to me, and I'm trying not to overgeneralize one side in this, but from where I'm sitting, it seems like the pro Last Jedi, pro Disney Star Wars crowd is very intolerant of opposing opinions. It seems like they are very upset that the anti Last Jedi crowd has allowed many YouTubers like myself to rise and gain so much notoriety. But wasn't it those channels that were using the hype to The Force Awakens to grow their audience? Oh yes, it was. They rode that momentum. They rode this hype train of The Force Awakens and all the speculation that n like 95% of their speculation videos turned out to be complete bullshit. It was just things they were pulling out of their ass for views. And that was fine. Why, I have no problem with that. Do what you got to do to get your audience engaged in the content you're trying to create. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I would never hate on somebody for doing that. Evie goes back to Logan Paul, where I've defended Logan Paul on this channel several months ago because I'm like, basically, if you don't like the guy, don't watch him. I don't like him. I don't watch him. I mean, the only thing with Logan Paul is if you feel he is hurting the business model for YouTube. And if that's the case, I can understand it. But the complaints about Logan Paul were helping, happening way before he was actually hurting the business model where people were just like, oh, he needs to be, you know, his channel needs to be deleted. Why? Just don't watch him. And if he has an audience that wants to watch him, then so be it. And if his audience ever turns on him or if he's not providing the content that his audience signed up for, then eventually the market will determine the market. I'm a firm believer in the market determining the market. That's going to happen with Solo. That's going to happen with Star Wars moving forward. It'll happen with my channel. It'll happen with anybody else's channels. It'll happen everywhere. The market determines the market. So if Solo is a massive success, then it doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what you think. It matters what the market says. And if the market determines its success, then the market determines the market. We will continue to get more of Kathleen Kennedy's bullshit agenda-driven Star Wars, in my opinion. But if Solo's not good, or at least if the market doesn't support Solo, then guess what? Then we won't be getting as much Kathleen Kennedy nonsense anymore because the market will determine the market. That's how it works across the board. And so many people seem to have a problem with that, and I don't really understand it. But in closing, one more time, I'm not calling for a bo boycott of Solo. I support you going to see it if you want. I have no problem with that. And uh, last I checked, I, I, and I can't say this for sure, I think we're going to have a video review on this channel. It will not be from me because I am not going to see it. Um, but we probably will have a video review, and we definitely, ha definitely will have a written review on geeksandgamers.com. So we have people flooding our social media pages right now. My poor social media managers are just, they're just like getting flooded because people are like, why are you guys boycotting solo? They're not. The one guy that runs it is, but I'm not forcing my opinion on everyone at my company. Not happening. So we, as a company, geeksandgamers.com, will be reviewing Solo. I'm just not seeing it. And we'll see how it all plays out. The other thing in closing, it's okay to like The Last Jedi. 
I support your right to like a fucking movie. I don't know why this is such a big deal. But can we just move past all of the divisive nature? Because as long as my audience wants Last Jedi videos and for me to talk about Lucasfilm and what's going on, as long as Lucasfilm is giving me reasons to talk about them, I'm going to keep talking about them. And I'm going to keep titling my videos however the hell I want to. And there's literally nothing you can do about it. My question is, why do you care? Why are you worried about it? And I would love for someone to just point blank message me privately. We don't have to do this anywhere else. Uh, and I, that's not for YouTubers, it's for anybody. Tell me what your problem is with what I'm doing and we can talk about it. And I'll, I'll give you a perfectly good explanation why. So, <sighs> you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later.